to What's, What's Happening, Happening in the Motherload Mother with Sarah and Sarah. Yeah, so we're back again and it is still hot. Yep, <laughs> we're still in July and making our way into August, wow. which is nice because we only really were inching towards that fall. Yes, so yeah, if you're not a summer person, we are starting to see the light at we the are. end of the time. <laughs> and it's, it's been hot. It's been a hot summer, but it was a not too bad not too bad entry a, level. Yeah. yeah. So it we because of what we had that 70 degrees and then then it started getting warm. Yeah. So it's actually it's very warm but it's not as severe as it could be. Could be. <laughs> yeah. I mean we don't have many weeks of a, over 100 degree weather. Yeah, which is nice. We'll take we that. I've had that before. So. Mm -hmm. Or when you get into like 110, 114. Oh, we yeah. haven't gotten that we this year. We haven't gotten that this year. Which, so. knock on wood. Hopefully we, we don't. don't get there. Yeah, because uh, those are miserable days. Yeah. Yeah. And you we better pray be your air conditioning It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> stop working. Yeah, it isn't like, oh, I've done Ooh. enough. Or PG&E doesn't turn off the electricity. Uh, that's always rough. Ooh. That's yeah. very rough. Yeah. Um, nowadays, you really up here, you really do either need a generator mm -hmm. or one of those really like heavy duty backup batteries, batteries mm -hmm. which are kind of like mini generators, really. Yeah. Um, so if you do end up having a PGE cut you off You're or prepared. whatever cut you off, you have some preparation there. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. Did I ever tell you the trick if you get a power outage? Mm -mm. Um, so there is a trick. You have to plan ahead for this one. Okay. But what you do is you fill up a cup of water, okay. and usually it's like a mug uh, or a see-through cup. Okay. And you freeze it, and okay. then you put a quarter on top of the ice. Okay. So if your refrigerator is turned off for an X amount of times, that that um, quarter will make its way through the ice. So you will know if your refrigerator's ever been turned oh. off. And if your food is it's spoiled, if it's oh, all the way at the wow. bottom, okay, um, and it's refrozen or at the bottom, and you see a quarter where the ice sh should yeah, be, well, then you know that your refrigerator was turned off was and that compromised. it compromised. Yeah, that everything oh, defrosted. Wow. So you need to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. But it's planning ahead, and especially with the PG&E yeah. outages, it's yeah. always nice to have yeah. those little I tricks. Have not, I've not heard of that before. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I think all of us, if we've lived up here long enough, we've thrown away refrigerators yeah. and freezers full mm -hmm. of food um, yeah. because if you don't have a whole house generator, that's the first thing that will go. And you've got to keep it going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got to bring in the propane or mm -hmm. gasoline or whatever you're running your generator on. So yeah. it is, uh, it's interesting. It is a treat. Living up here, yes. And we all run around with uh, coolie bags in our cars mm -hmm. so that if we happen to go grocery shopping um our stuff stays cool until yep. we get home so yeah it's a different way of living it really is <laughs> it really really is and then also with the heat comes fire season fire season yeah it is always a scary season yeah but um yeah. you have to be well planned out very well planned out mm -hmm. and uh you know right now they 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 have the huge fire in yosemite mm -hmm. mariposa area there's so many people being displaced and that yep. is not even close to being contained at no, all. Not so, even. Um, so we just hope those people all are leaving when they tell you to leave. I did mm -hmm. read an article saying that quite a few people are actually staying in their homes. See, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't mm -hmm. risk it at all. If the no. firemen are telling you to leave, then yeah. then, then leave you because leave. you don't know. Yeah. You you're not even has are putting yourselves in danger. You're putting the firemen in danger because yes. they now have to worry about you yeah. being in that spot mm -hmm. versus them just looking out for, for the property. fire. Yeah, and the, um, the fire. And the, yeah. yeah, and mm -hmm. it's just, it's, yeah, I understand that you think that you could protect your property. Yeah, um, but in those that, firestorms, uh, man, they are something else. I wouldn't risk it. Nope, not nope. at all. None, not of, at none all. of it is worth it. Yeah, so hopefully by next week they'll have uh, contained it somewhat and um, get it put out hopefully relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's all scary though. It's but all scary though. Yeah, just make sure you guys keep up on your landscaping yeah. um, around your building. Make mm -hmm. sure you have a defensible space. Clearance, mm -hmm. yeah. And then even further out than that, they're saying, you know, clear out as far out as you can yeah. around your property. And then clutter and whatnot. And then clutter and ladder fuels and all of that. It's always good to just clear it out. And it feels good when you clear it out It too. really is. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things when you're all done with a task and you're yeah. like, oh, this oh, feels I, good. Come on over, people. Come on over. <laughs> exactly. Everything's clean. Yeah, Everything we can... looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Um, and be careful if you're out there camping too. Yes. To uh, pay attention to what's going on around you mm -hmm. and, you know. And I know that they're not doing any um, fires, so be smart about it. Don't start a fire just because you're camping. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, it's fun, but right now it is dangerous. Yes. So be smart about what you do. Yep, for sure, for sure. So all that being said, um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those, one of those, um, yeah. I think it's the transitioning. I so think it is. So we are transitioning yeah. from July to August, so we're mm -hmm. going to be talking about uh, our July 29th through August 4th, which yep. is really weird to say because it's not just August. It means a lot of things are happening. School's starting, starting back again. up. Yeah. Um, you have a lot of major events that are happening mm -hmm. this week, um, mm -hmm. and it's just a lot a lot a lot mm -hmm. yeah there's a, there's a lot of things to do um not maybe not as many as in recent weeks yeah. but it's kind of nice sometimes just to have just a few things to do mm -hmm. then you don't have to pick and choose too much about what you're going to what exactly. you're not you can take maybe a little drive around the area mm -hmm. in an air-conditioned car <gasps> my <hopefully>. favorite <laughs> my favorite air conditioning is <laughs> my favorite and then you get to see you know there's still um it, beautiful even though it's not lush and green we have the golden hills now mm -hmm. and that's why we're called the golden state because it is golden it really is yeah and um it really is beautiful so if you get a chance take a drive go up the highways and byways take some of the back roads mm -hmm. and it's just it's just a lot of fun and to bring a swimsuit if you want to go hop in a lake yeah there's plenty of those <laughs> exactly. around or a river yep so, yep for and then sure. the other thing is a lot of these events that we've been talking about are transitioning out yes they are um, a lot of the concepts concerts uh, in um, things like that are starting to get down to the end point yes yeah and so you preparing. need to hop on them yeah <laughs> if you want to see them because it's going to switch out to fall events and uh, things to do really really quickly yep exactly so so one of the main events that is happening this weekend mm -hmm. is the Amador County Fair yes. which is one of the big ones um, and I think that's also why there isn't a lot of new events happening this weekend is because we have the uh, um, the county fair and also the Bear Valley Music Festival, yes. so two very large events happening. Yeah, yeah. So the county fair is going from Thursday, July 28th through the, um, Sunday, July 31st. Mm -hmm. They have a lot going on, so you can see the rodeo, the derby, um, starting, um, I'm not sure what starts Thursday. I think, I think the derby is on Sunday, but I'm not 100% sure. You can go to amadarcountyfair.com to find their schedule. Mm -hmm. But they have carnival rides, carnival food, they have yeah. um, the uh, crafts and art exhibits and um, the livestock and yes. auctions and all of that, mm -hmm. uh, along with all of the shows that happen. Yes. So it's a very, very, very exciting four days. Yeah, and it actually, the Amador County Fair was one of the first fairs in the state of California. I didn't know that. Yeah, and it, it's sort of interesting because it used to be down in Ione and it was a horse huh. track. <laughs> it was oh. horse racing. And um, one of the founders was very into viticulture and winemaking, and he looked at it as a really great opportunity what to show sense? off Amador County wines and Amador County uh, viticulture. So he was very um, uh, prominent and mm -hmm. uh, actually making it happen, as were a lot of other families at the time. But uh, a lot of the county fairs, they started out very much tied to horse racing. Which makes sense because mm -hmm. that's exciting. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So they would have the harness racing and um, all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and all that money would go to into a pool and then be shared around uh, to the different state fairs, like a state pool. It was kind of interesting huh. the way it all worked out. And then Amador County uh, Fair ended up transitioning to where it is now, which is right outside of Plymouth, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a really nice fairgrounds when you it go. It really is. It's really accessible. And it's, there's a lot of shade. Yes, there is. There a lot is. of shade. Mm -hmm. And a lot of restrooms. And yeah. it's very handicap accessible. So if you are yeah. um, needing to be able to find ramps or um, mm -hmm. flat surfaces, yes. it's definitely an easy spot to get out and about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, for sure. And then one of our other major events that is into week two this week, so there's only one more week left of it, is mm -hmm. the Bear Valley Music Festival. Now, this festival started on um, 
last week and it goes until August 7th um, mm -hmm. and they have individual tickets being sold okay. for each day so you can hop on there um, at I think it's Bear Valley um, Bear Valley Music Festival org and you can find out the pricing um, they have different sections so you can have best no good better and best section <laughs> yes <laughs> and then they have a live auction at the end and they have a very very broad amount of music that's they happening. do they do yeah. and they have the um the arts as yep. well so they have i think they have an arts auction and then you can buy the art the bear valley um and they they have um a poster that they make from a particular artist they choose oh, cool. a, a new artist every year that they have the poster that they it reflects the whole bear valley music festival That's fantastic and it's very cool up there i was going to say the <laughs> temperatures especially at nighttime make sure you bring a sweater because yes. it does get a little bit cooler especially yeah. if you're down here where mm -hmm. you're used to a little bit warmer <laughs> a little warmer bring yeah a little absolutely. bit light, light sweater yes um, absolutely a layer, layer 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 mm -hmm. so um, but if you've never gone before, make sure you go because it is a really unique event and it's just in a really beautiful location. Yeah, you can't be just it. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, talking about music, there are still so many places to go yes. and see music um, in our area. Uh, the farmers markets are huge for music. Uh, Clan Dyken is going to be playing at the Angels Camp Farmers Market on uh, Friday. And if you've never been to that particular market, it's a lot of fun. They have a different theme every week, and they have food trucks, and they have their all the market offerings. So it's kind of like a festival, mm -hmm. <laughs> as well as a, um, a farmer's market. And then um, there are, let me see, where else? We have a murder mystery. Yes, also. we do. We have the plays are still going mm -hmm. on, the but plays. this one looks like this so one, much fun. Yes, so this one is the catastrophe on the blood red carpet. Yes. And it is an interactive murder mystery dinner, mm -hmm. and it's put on by the Fourth Wall Entertainment Trope. Mm -hmm. and, and this is happening July 30th um, from 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, so that is what? Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. I had to double check. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> get my dates right. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. You can't, I love those murder mysteries where you're kind of They're involved fun. and you're yeah. trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's, it's like different. Clue, but real life, yes. right? Yeah. <laughs> and no one really dies. <laughs> yeah, and nobody really dies. Yeah, absolutely. You can find out more information at fourthwalltrope.com um, if you want to find out about ticket prices and, um, and how to get them. Yeah. Yeah. And then also talking about theater in... August. <laughs> I can't believe it's August. I know, it's weird saying it. Um, at the Sierra Repertory Theater on Wednesday, August 3rd, their production of Shaboom, Ooh. Life Could Be a Dream, will begin. And uh, that will be on the, in the, uh, on the Mono Way location. And apparently it's about a fledgling doo-wop singing group who is preparing to enter the Big Whopper Radio Contest. Oh, okay. So they're trying to make their dreams come true. Um, it actually starts July 28th and then um, ends August 27th. But it's Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And you can go to their website. Um, for Sierra Rep Authority Theater, and then you can also call them at 532-3120, uh, and they just put on a great performance. I mean, Sierra Rep just does you a great job. You can't go wrong. A lot yeah. of the production companies that are theater houses that are up here, they do a very, very good job. They really do. They really do. Another play that we've been talking about, and it is oh. starting to get to the last leg of its production, um, is Volcano Theater Company's uh, Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, which is a mystery. Yep. And that will go until August 6th, um, and that is a Friday and Saturday um, showing. Um, starts at um, 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, but you can get there, and it's an amphitheater, so bring your picnics and or your chairs and your picnic if you want. And the amphitheater um, start uh, opens at 6:30. Um, and if you want more information, you can go to the website at volcanotheater.net, or you can give them a call at 209-419-0744. And again, it will play this weekend, mm -hmm. and then the following weekend, and then that will be the end of it. Yeah, which is crazy. So then they'll go on to something else. And yep. again, this theater company, which we've talked about before, um, such a wonderful location. It really is. And you could go to, I think it's Nana's Bakery? 
Is it Nana? No, it's like kneading dough. It's kneading dough. That's mm -hmm. what it is. I always think of the owner. She looks like a little Nana. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they have all sorts of gluten-free offerings mm -hmm. and just a wonderful variety of food and um, baked goods and breads. So, which is it's always just nice to, to have there. that variety because yeah. I do know. Um, some places, I mean, a lot of places nowadays have the gluten-free and whatnot, yeah. but if you are limited to that, it's nice to have a yes. broad, broad Yes, broad absolutely, range. absolutely. And then you also have the George Hotel, so you can take a look at mm -hmm. that and just walk that little main street, which is adorable. Yes, absolutely. And then if you are looking to get your dancing shoes on, yep. uh, the Copper Valley um, is doing the Big Band Dinner Dance with the Columbia Big Band and Singers um, this Saturday, July 30th. Mm -hmm. um, the Golf Club at Copper Valley is where it's at. Um, uh, they have a 6.30 cocktails, a 7.30 dinner, and then at 7 o'clock, hold on, I think I said 7.30, at 6 o'clock there's cocktails, <laughs> 7.30 is dinner, sorry about that, and 7 o'clock is dancing and entertainment. Yeah. Um, there is a limited reservation, so it could already be sold out, but mm -hmm. if you want, you can give them a call at 209-783-9503. Um, and to f get tickets, and it's about $50 per person. Okay. And then if you miss out on that, the night before, actually, um, they are having a scotch and cigars Ooh. under the s stars at the copper, uh, put on by the Copper Valley Wine Club at the Lakeview Patio. Mm -hmm. And um, you can bring your own cigar or buy one from an assortment uh, for $10 each. And the if you don't like scotch, you can have another little libation for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make reservations uh, at 784-7400. And uh, these kinds of kinds of things are actually kind of fun. They, they go, really they are. Yeah. They kind of remind you of the old, <laughs> the old yes. um, movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but people really enjoy them. They really so. do. Yeah, and you get to dress up. I mean, any mm -hmm. excuse to uh, get out of your yeah, get out of your regular clothes. Zone, do your mm -hmm. yeah, and exactly. angle and things mm -hmm. like that. It's always a fun thing. Yeah, for sure. If you're looking for another night out um, with a good dinner, the um, Double Take Band will be at the Roaring Camp this Saturday for the uh, their night cookout, um, which is July 30th. It starts at 6 p.m. Um, or dinner starts at 6 p.m. So I think you can get there a little bit earlier. Um, so you have to make reservations because the space is limited. Um, you can call 209-296-1400 if you would like to find out more or get, get tickets. And Roaring Camp is really cool because they drive you down. And I've it's heard right next it is. To I've never river. actually been there. Yeah. And um, it's cool. Yeah. It's nice and cool. You have the river right there. And it really is just... It's a away experience. from everything, but yeah. not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I recommend it. <laughs> and then let's see what else we have. Like we said, we're a little short on events this week, but where do we have? Let's see, on Saturday, Mystic Night at Millier Wine. Um, Mystic Saturday featuring palm readings by Melissa Miller and tarot card readings by Danny Ernst. Hmm. Uh, so you can purchase your tickets in person at the tasting room. It's from 3.30 to 7.30. It's $20 a ticket and you will receive a glass of wine and a reading. Um, so if you are into that sort of thing, that might be kind of a fun thing to do. Yeah, it would be definitely breaking it up a little bit for a different kind of Saturday, though, which yeah, would be well, kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not your typical which, winery event, actually. Which is always kind of nice. It's kind of interesting. It's nice yeah. to have that little yeah. bit of a something different. Yeah, a little twist on mm -hmm. it all. Yeah, for sure. I would be nervous about finding out something bad about my future, and then you can't take it back. And then I would dwell <laughs> yeah, on just, it. I would dwell. You just don't want to know. I would dwell on that one thing and be like, okay, is it yeah. today? Or is it, <laughs> when is it? And is it ever? Yeah. <laughs> Which is always, yeah, it's always one of those things. I just want to hear the good. Tell yeah, me the good. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just good. wait till it comes. <laughs> till I can see it, I don't want to know. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Skunk ba uh, uh, Baxter is um, going to be at the Sutter Creek Theater, and um, uh, this is going to be July 30th, which is Saturday from 7 to 9 p.m., and so if you're looking for a musician to listen to, he's a guitarist, which mm -hmm. looks amazing, 
or he looks amazing. Um, and hit the phone number is to our 916-425-0077 if you do want to um, find out ticket prices or whatnot. You could also go to their website at www.suttercreektheater.com to find out about events and where to find your tickets. But mm -hmm. some of these yeah, people lots are... Of, lots of great musicians oh, up man, here. And, and, and really guitars are. are always amazing to me because how quick they move their fingers. Oh, um, I can't imagine the amount of practice launch, time. Yeah, and then they're not even like it. I, like, it's just amazing because it's all feel. Yeah, like they know it so well, mm -hmm. and they know that instrument so well that it really is just them dancing and, with yeah, it. with and, the guitar. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's mind boggling because I'm not that coordinated. I'm like, <laughs> like that makes. <laughs> I music. wouldn't be able to do it at all. But it is really fascinating. It to is. Watch. It is, and so like you know, so much practice to yes. get to that point, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, you know, musicians in general, but. Yeah, the guitarists are pretty amazing. That's so crazy to me. And in, in what they do. Mm -hmm. So, and then on um, Monday, or are you still on the I weekend? I am oh, still on the weekend. Oh, you have the cool one. So, this yes. is really cool. So, we they have the weekend wine tasting in the cave. We talked about this last weekend. It yeah. is in Plymouth at the Bella Grace Wineries. Um, again, this is for reservation, so if you don't have a reservation, it, it, there is a possibility it could be sold out. Yeah. Um, it's going from July 30th to July 31st, from 11 a.m. to 4.30. Um, and so they will take you into the wine, or into the cave, mm -hmm. that was constructed over 10 years ago yeah. to store and age their red wines and oak barrels, so you're mm -hmm. surrounded by these beautiful barrels. Yes, and it um, smells really good in yeah. there, <laughs> which is always good. Um, and the temperature is a constant 57 degrees. So yeah. they say bring a sweater, um, which is always smart to do. Yes, but absolutely. That sounds so nice. It does. <laughs> I'm like, it? Oh, man. Um, and then there is a wonderful dinner or lunch and wine tasting. I think there's lunch. I know there's wine tasting. Um, so that will be there. So yeah, and it is the tasting is limited to um, up to six people per oh, group. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a really nice space in there. Um, and then uh, another uh, Bryce Station Bryce Station Vineyards is actually uh, presenting a William Shakespeare's comedy, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, from July twentieth. <gasps> That's 28th. one of my favorite. It's a great mm -hmm. great production. Uh, July 28th to August 20th, uh, 7 to 9.30. So if you are interested, um, contact Bryce Station. I don't have a phone number. I thought I did. Uh, but it's just up there right above Murphy's on the left-hand side of Highway 4. And it's just a really beautiful, beautiful location. So if you've not been up there, I would go up there. It really is wonderful. And so Even if it's not for one of these productions, it's nice just to nice go up to just Murphy's to visit. anyway. Because mm -hmm. a lot of, like Setter Creek and Murphy's and um, Sonora and Angel's Camp, oh, yeah. there's the, their main streets alone are just, just a really fountain of fun. history. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And it's just, they're beautiful. Yeah. They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. If you have any children, it is Friday <laughs> Messy Mornings Learning Through Play put on by the first five in Amador. Mm -hmm. um, this is an opportunity for children to gather and play with uh, newly week, uh, weekly uh, play groups. Um, yep. And it's, again, every Friday from 10.30 uh, to 12 p.m. Um, and it is off of Broadway in Jackson, um, and they get a free T-shirt to get messy in, so yeah, you can protect just have their a great clothes. Time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it's always a fun thing, especially when you have young children and their older siblings are in school. This gives them something that is theirs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then um, Gold Rush Days at Columbia State Historic Park, Monday, August 1st from 1 to 4 o'clock. So if you are off with your kids, it's still summertime. Um, what's great with um, Columbia State Historic Park is they have their docents that are dressed up in period costumes. You can ask them almost anything and they'll be able to answer your questions good. about what it was like to live back then. And um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful place to visit. So they um, are having their Gold Rush days from 1 to 4. I love it. 
and then oops. and this is something that's not an act or not so much fun but it is important to do is mm -hmm. if you have any used eyeglasses um, and pull tabs um, you can take it to the Sutter Creek Farmers Market yeah. um, on Main Street and Sutter Creek from 9 a.m. to noon uh, the Lions Club is doing a um, a recycle event mm -hmm. so you can take it, uh, eyeglasses are sold cleaned and processed and then supplied free to low-income residents mm -hmm. within the San Francisco Bay area, Bay area Nevada and elsewhere in the United States um, and then also the all the pool tabs collected are to benefit the Ronald McDonald house charities oh, cool and every pounds of tabs collected will pay for one night's stay which oh, are wow. both really big that's super big important. things that yeah. are happening here yeah, and again you sure. can always donate towards um, towards the Lions Club mm -hmm. and then they will make sure that the money gets to where is needed. Yes, so, absolutely. They're another so, great organization. Yes, they, they do so much for the community and you don't, they do it so quietly. They really <laughs> do. You just don't even realize what they do sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, and then skimming through skimming through so actually um, I'm gonna hop forward to Thursday August 4th because it is National Parks fee free Ooh. day now obviously our closest national park is Yosemite and I um, doubt if they will be open I Not know with that the fire no, I, mm -mm. I think part of the park is open but uh, obviously they're telling people you know you need to check before you come up because mm -hmm. they don't know what's going to happen with the fire but nearby um, at Pinecrest, they have their Thursday, August 4th, 10 to 11.30 p.m., a, we, a Miwok Lifeways Interpretive Program. Um, they have that every week on Thursdays. And actually, until August 4th, this is uh, the, August 4th will be the last one. Um, and they have uh, tribal members come and they talk about the Miwok way of life, which is very, very cool. That is really cool. And then also they will have, I think I just lost my place, <laughs> um, Nature Detectives mm -hmm. Interpretive Program uh, from 2 to 3 o'clock. And that will be at the Beardsley Dam Road at Pinecrest. And this is... Um, where you can join Forest Service Rangers at the China Flat Day Use Area to learn about how you can find animals by looking for signs of them, you know, looking for their tracks, looking for their burrows, you find out what kind of animal you're dealing with. Uh, and you can actually go all day because this is from 2 to 3 o'clock and the other was from 11, I believe. So that's cool. 11, so you so can, can kind of up, enjoy yourself, enjoy the lake. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. So speaking on another one that will be happening next weekend, um, but it is always good to see if you can get your tickets ahead of time. On um, August 5th is music at the ranch at the Lafton Ranch um, in Amador. It's one of those nights, or one of these nights, um, Songs of the Eagles. Um, the ticket prices are for 13 and over is $35. For six to twelve, or six year olds to twelve year olds are twenty, and kids five and under are free. So it is a family event. Mm -hmm. um, there is dinner and music, um, and they can the food and wine can be purchased at the event. Um, and this is you could also do new this year is um, a la carte, so you can just do fifteen dollars oh. just for the music, and then mm -hmm. if you want to do the barbecue would be 35. Okay. And the gates open at 5 p.m., dinner's at 6, and the band starts from 7 to 10 p.m. And there's no outside alcohol or food allowed and no smoking on the premises. Okay. That sounds like it would be a good concert, though. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, sure. you can find out more at eaglecoverband.com um, mm -hmm. is where, or you can look on Facebook because this is where I found it um, <laughs> on the Facebook event page. <laughs> And then um, also, as far as music goes, we have our arts councils. They are still doing their free uh, music in the parks. Mm -hmm. In Amador County, August 5th will be, let me see. Oh, I guess they're skipping a week. But um, August 5th will be Kennedy Goldmine, and the Golden Bees will be playing on uh, that Friday. And that's a TGIF, uh, 6 to 8 p.m. Um, picnic, beverages, beverages, bring your own chair, you know, free, um, otherwise free. <laughs> Which is good. I like free, especially, mm -hmm. yeah, especially when you have a lot of, when you have family and you're like, yeah. I would 
yeah. not like to spend fifteen dollars per person. <laughs> per person, exactly. <laughs> and Free then, is always good. Yeah, and then Calaveras County uh, Music in the Parks every Wednesday mm -hmm. night, six thirty to eight p.m. August 3rd, Sky King will be playing at uh, Murphy's Community Park. And again, nice. uh, no admission fee, free of charge. Cool. Bring your picnic and your libations and your little lawn chairs or, or whatever you want to sit on and just go out and enjoy the park. Mm -hmm. And, and the these music. evenings are so nice. Oh, they're beautiful. They, they are really so nice. Are. Mm -hmm. And then we've been talking about this and we hope that there are still tickets available for you if you do not have one, but mm -hmm. the likelihood of that is probably slim. Yep. Uh, the Flynn <laughs> Creek Circus is happening between July 4th and July 7th, so next weekend at yes. the Italian Picnic Grounds. Yeah. Um, again, this is going to be something very unique, very brand new. Very much And so, so it yeah. is balloons, birds, and other flying things, mm -hmm. so acrobats, all that fun stuff, and they'll have a... Uh, Big top. Big top, yeah. So even if you um, don't go to it, you should probably drive through. Drive by it and <laughs> see the big top. Um, go so, check it out at least. Exactly. And yeah. um, so you can find out more information at Flynn Creek, the, uh, Flynn Creek Circus com if you want to find out ticket prices and mm -hmm. if they're available still. Yeah. So for sure. And then on, actually on August 7th, obviously that is a little bit further out than the weeks that we normally do, but I just wanted to let you know that they're having this event at the Endless Earth Eco Village in Mountain Ranch, and it's a willow basket workshop um, August 7th from 10 to 4 p.m. It sounds very cool. I was just going to say, I absolutely love that idea. I yeah. love baskets that are like handcrafted yes. or um well this will be the one yeah, for you because exactly. you learn how to harvest process and Ooh. store your baskets huh. uh create a small twine basket for berry picking um all materials will be provided and you can register and pay um at paypal and it's a, a suggested donation of 25 to 50 dollars that's fantastic so and they said that like i said i think i said space is limited Okay. So, um, if I remember, you're interested, I remember as a kid they did a activity like that where we had to make our own either plate or basket. Usually it was like oh, a cool. little basket that big, but uh -huh. it was one of those experiences wow. that stuck with me. So I would love to do it as an adult. Yeah, and that be would like, be All right. very cool. <laughs> My attention spans a yeah. little bit longer. <laughs> exactly, you can make some a little bit bigger. Bigger, now. yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I am winding down to the. Mm -hmm. Uh, events for this week. I don't know if you have anything extra. Uh, that was actually the the very last one that I had for this week. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So you have a little fewer to choose from, but still a lot. Yes. And um, just make sure you stay cool. Yeah. Yeah. Drink plenty of water, yeah, and then the sure. local pools are open still. Yes. Yeah. Um, they they'll are. be open all the way up until probably mm -hmm. September, I believe, is when they start winding down. Yeah. They down. start to wind down when and when then. the the kids go back in school. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the lakes, rivers, um, rivers, and just be really careful when you're out there because mm -hmm. the the lakes are actually the water level is going down so every time you go out there it's a whole new lake for you yep exactly and the river is also in the colony river make sure that you yes. are um, mm -hmm. smart about it because you do have the undertoes and whatnot yeah, so absolutely just be yeah I mean you're all of these locations nature. yes yeah. exactly yeah, you're in nature so and be smart because it is fire season yes so absolutely no fires yes <laughs> no, no fires. barbecues no barbecues no 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 so um, so we will be back next in week August. With, in August, August, like full on August, you guys, oh, uh, July will be in the August. Books. I know. Hopefully you'll start getting cooler. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> exactly. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>